How's it going? It's 1 a.m. I just watched the first episode of Daredevil and I'm jacked, so I wanted to talk about it super quick. I really, really enjoyed it, obviously, as you can tell by my enthusiasm. Had that nice dark tone to it. Fight scenes were incredible. I'm getting tweeted about it already. Uh, so many good things. Really love that opening monologue where he's doing the confession, talking a bit about his past, about his relationship with his father. Uh, got so much of those good, good Daredevil facts that we just that make Daredevil so awesome, but left a lot open, a lot more uh, to explore about the character and his origin and all these good things. But just a wonderful, really well done uh, opening chapter to the Daredevil story. Cox did just an excellent job. I thought his lines were all delivered really well. Great actor, very impressed. Even though he's not a redhead, uh, I think that's just fine. The mystery of the villain, who this mysterious benefactor is of the new uh, mafia kingpin, who could it be? It's a big mystery. Uh, if you don't know the story, I will not spoil it. But obviously, big heavy hitter here, taking care of business. He's got his little minion running around, doing all sorts of nefarious things to get his way done. They have this little group that's taking advantage these uh different uh, mafia organizations working together seems like one big kingpin is sort of trying to control all of them it looks like the italians the japanese the chinese and the chechnyans uh they also have had their different jobs that they're doing around hell's kitchen and something tells me daredevil's gonna have an issue with that and they're gonna have to step up so excited to see where all that goes uh he's already made a name for himself been noticed uh oh it was also great seeing the lawyer side of things get a quick glimpse at one of his powers which is sort of that heartbeat reading uh the heartbeat of those talking to him so he can decide if they're lying or telling the truth you see uh him realize that no in fact she had the the usb with the file on it and he had to track her down and everything so uh really great to see that and excited to see more of that one thing that happens in the current series that i really like is carlos rivera really started it but uh really visualizing uh like through the on the page what daredevil sees in his 360 degree vision uh with that those pink panels you see and he does some really cool stuff with that i would love to see that in the show one day uh, really get a sense for what Daredevil feels and how he sees the world uh, go into his head a little bit. I don't know if they're going to go that way. I haven't seen anything like that in the previews, so odds are they won't, but that would be really neat. Uh, my issue with it was I thought Foggy Nelson was good, but his lines felt uh, a little forced at times. I thought the dialogue itself was really great. Felt very much like a Daredevil comic, like that comic booky type dialogue. Uh, but the setting was great, had that gritty, dark feel, sort of more grounded feel in this uh, shitty part of New York, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, but they still had those minor references to all the Marvel events and things that had happened. So really awesome setup, uh, great start, beautiful sets. Uh, the fight scenes, the action scenes were wonderfully done. Great sound effects, all that, that fight scene in the rain at the end was really well done. It has the slow motion, you see all the different... Uh, angles and things happening it doesn't have that annoying shaky cam you can actually tell what's going on and it just opens up that mystery of who this guy is how he came to be as he is all we really know is that he had an accident and he turned blind so really excited to see where they're going to go with it all the different aspects of daredevil they're going to continue to explore because i think uh this is going to be a popular series if it keeps going the way it is and hopefully daredevil will get a little more respect maybe like iron man like thor go from like a, a c or b level character up to an a level character because uh, i'm a big fan and i want to see everybody appreciate daredevil the way he is and how awesome he is uh so it's nice to see them do justice really excited about the, that episode and Looking forward to watching more, so uh, maybe I'll just watch episode two tomorrow and I'll review that one as well. Okay, thanks guys. Take care.